Did I scare you? I thought he'd look, he jumped, he jumped about three feet. I knew he would. <laughs> While you stop by, we are going to talk women's gymnastics momentarily. And throughout the day, if you'd like to take a look at our... Well, I guess it isn't up right now because they're making some changes. But this... Uh, we have a poster that tells you exactly what time each sport is going to be talked about here today. After women's gymnastics, we have men's gymnastics at the 12 o'clock track and field. At 12.30, we'll talk rowing. At the 1 o'clock, women's tennis, 1.30, wrestling. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, men's tennis, 2.30, men's golf. 3 o'clock, men's basketball. Men's basketball on the schedule just came out. If you would like a men's basketball schedule, I think women's will be out too shortly if it's not already. Right inside, ask for the men's basketball schedule. And we have a special football offer for you. The first home game, which is Saturday, September 8th against New Hampshire, $20 is all we're asking. $20 a ticket, go inside, turn to your left. You may get tickets for $20. That game starts at 11 o'clock on Saturday, September 8th. So hope to see you there. Jimmy Mick is former great athlete. Good to see you, Jimmy. Hi, Dick. How are you? And we're, as I mentioned, women's gymnastics. Take a look how nice they look, all decked out. That's right. And you should wait till you see their, the uh, cards they have inside that they're going to sign after they get off. Very classy cards with a great background. I think the background of those cards is excellent. And they'll sign them for you. How much? No, you're not charging either, are you? That's great. I'll tell you, that's unusual. She did, they're not charging. That's too much because they're college athletes. That's why. Huh? Meg Stevenson is our head coach. And Meg, always a pleasure to see you. Many years we've done this. And I always look forward to it. Thank you. It's great to be here today. What a beautiful day. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, great. This will be 95 or 100, but we can handle it. We have a little shade here. So We're I'm, always here on the hottest day of the I, I know. Every, you, every year. That's right. Absolutely. Meg is your head coach. And how many years is this now? This is going to be our 20th season at Minnesota. Is it? Can you believe that? 20 yeah. years. 20 years. That's pretty good, I'll tell you that. It's been pretty fun. Uh, and, and a lot of changes over that uh, length of time? Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Three presidents. Uh, we're on our third athletics director, so yeah, lots of changes, but good changes. Oh, absolutely. We, we've been we've been pleased with everything so far. What has it been like recruiting? Say, say, twenty years ago you started. What's it like recruiting today? It's completely different recruiting today. It happens quite a bit earlier. We used to recruit girls when they were uh, seniors in high school. Now we're looking at young women that are sophomores, uh, even looking at freshmen, which is too early in my mind, but it's the way of the world, and so we're just trying to keep up with it, but um, very competitive in recruiting, and um, but these women make it easier because they've done a, such a great job, So, and university is such an amazing academic institution. Speaking of that, I'm just taking a look now. You were honored by the NCAA for having a perfect academic progress rate. Right. So what that means is that all our women graduate, and that's a, that's a huge deal for the NCAA, and uh, these guys are right in line to do the same, so we're really proud of that. I think there were three teams at Minnesota that were honored, so out of 25, we're pretty thrilled with that honor. Also, five members of the team received the NACGC Scholastic Honors. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's a uh, Coaches Association Scholastic Award, and that is given to anyone with a 3.5 GPA or above. And you guys want to raise your hand if you received that award this year? Look at that. How about that? That's terrific. And, and two of our graduates. That is really, really, really good. Well, you're a lot better than I was. I was known as an underwater student in high school. All my grades were below sea level, so that'll tell you something. <laughs> We have a team GPA of <laughs> three point three two eight three. That's pretty Yeah, and pretty we've been above the three point three uh, GPA mark for the last few years. So this is a, this is an intelligent bunch and they're very dedicated to their studies as well as their sports. So they're amazing women. Well, last year you finished third in the Big Ten championships? We did. We were behind uh, Nebraska in their first year in the Big Ten. They took the championship. And then Ohio State was second, and both Nebraska and Ohio State ended up going to nationals. So we did beat Michigan. We beat uh, Penn State. So we were really happy about those uh, wins, and uh, we're going to plan on doing that again. Well, as I tap uh, my notes, right 14th of the nation in attendance, second in the Big Ten in attendance. Yes. Yeah, and if, you, if you're out there today and you have not been to a gymnastics meet, you need to come because they only last about an hour and a half. 
typically they're Saturday nights at 6, and our schedules are available inside as well. We've got one meet this year. We're doing a 4 o'clock start time just to sort of see how the fans like that. But uh, they're great fun. They're very much catered to families, and uh, these guys are unbelievable. If you watch gymnastics uh, over the Olympic Games, you're going to come and get another fix watching these guys because they're they're just fantastic athletes. I have to admit, I watched a lot of the gymnastics. So the a women, lot of people did. Women's gymnastics, especially in the Olympics, I kind of fell in love with some of those those gals yeah. from a distance. But it was still they were terrific. Really. Yeah, wonderful. You know, and in every way, whenever they were being interviewed and and their their athletic performances, they're really classy women, and it shows a lot about our sport and. We're very proud of our sport and how classy it is. So. Imagine, I'll, have, I'll ask them, I bet they all watched it too, watch the Olympics very closely. Did you guys watch the Olympics did, very did closely? You? I thought you probably did. Okay. All right, we have several, two, four, six, let's see, two, four, six, eight gals. Yeah, let me mention that yeah. uh, we actually have our entire returning team here today, and, and they, uh, they're they here because they want to uh, encourage you to come and support us during the season. But uh, all of these retiring, or, uh, retired, returning student athletes worked out all summer long here at Minnesota with our four incoming freshmen. So our entire team was here this summer training. Very dedicated group, but also here today, all of the returning athletes so they can uh, encourage you to, to come and watch them. Great. Again, there will be signing autographs right inside at the gymnastics table as soon as we uh, conclude our interview. All right. I'll hand the microphone down here. Thanks, Bank. Thank you, Bank, very much. Sure. You are first. You, you do the short straw, so you are first. And your name and where you're from and what you're in school. Okay, I'm Justine Sherwin. I'm from Alito, Texas, and I'm going to be a junior this year. From Woo! Texas? Yep. Very good. How do you like Minnesota? I like everything about it except the weather. Really? Yeah. It doesn't get hot in Texas? That's what I'm used to. Are you used to that? Used okay. To that. okay. Otherwise, not you like, used to the cold. Otherwise, you like everything. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So, what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in chemical engineering. Okay. Well, excellent. What uh, What do you work at? What's your specialty? Um, I train all around, and I don't know. <laughs> you can do everything. You can do I, everything. I like to do everything. Okay. Now we just I, I talked about the Olympics. You watched it, I imagine. A little. Just a little. Okay. Not all the time. Not all of them, right? No. It's pretty hard to watch some of them, but it was fun to watch, that's for sure. That's great. Why did you decide to come to Minnesota in the original? Well, I really enjoyed the team. I uh, didn't have very many options when I was being recruited, and when I came up here on my visit, I learned that the chemical engineering program is one of the top in the nation, so that was a big plus. And then I just felt really welcome when I was on my visit by the coaches, by my teammates, Everyone. And I really like campus too when it's warm. When it's warm. Okay. Well, today you got it. You got it today. I'll tell you that. Absolutely. You, you like you've been to the fair before, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite food out here? Um, I like fried Oreos. Fried Oreos. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they have them. Exactly. I don't know if they have them here. I've had them before at a state fair. Okay. Fried pickles, yeah, I like fried pickles too. Yeah, it's, um, some very unusual food, I'll tell you that. Absolutely. Maybe I should try and put together. See if you can do that. Yeah. That's great. Fried pickles and All right, well, great. Well, nice to have you here. Thanks for coming off the fair today. Best of luck this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, you are next. Um, my name is Kayla Slecka. I'm from Shockley, Minnesota, and I'm going to be a junior as well. Why do I know you? Do you have any idea? Oh, yeah, baseball games. Yeah, I'm from Shockley. I, 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 of course, I live there now. Yeah, baseball games, everything. I've seen her many times. I've always thought she was pretty classy. I should mention, you did her in 14th place in the NCAA Nationals All-Around Competition. That's very, very good. That's excellent. Very good. Nice hand for her. So, Shakopee High School, you, you did more than just gymnastics, though, didn't you, if I remember right? No, I did not. Did you? I thought you did. Okay. I had an older sister that... Maybe that's what I think of. Okay. okay, very good. So, you, have you enjoyed Shakopee over the years? Yeah. A lot of fans that follow you, I imagine, from Shakopee, don't you? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Anybody from Shakopee out there right now? Probably not. But uh, that's great. And you're, what are you majoring in? Uh, kinesiology. I can hardly say that, but uh, I've heard a lot about it. That's for sure. That's great. What uh, What do you uh, work on mostly? What are you involved in? Um, I do all around as well. Right. So all four events. Can you watch the Olympics? Yes, 
Yes, I did. Did you have a favorite? Favorite woman gymnast? Um, no. You did? I just liked the entire team. Okay, well, I did too, actually. I kind of felt that same way. Oh, you have a, a meet coming up as Meg mentioned to try and get somebody over there. Four o'clock. What was the date of that again? Do you remember? I can't remember even now. What was that four o'clock meet? Oh, we'll get it. We, I, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but we'll get it for you. I, so you're, you're looking forward to a big, big season? Oh yeah, it's going to be a great year. You have to work. Tell me a little bit about the workout for a, a gymnast. What do you really have to do as far as on a daily basis? Um, well, now that school starts, we're going to start picking up with preseason. It's going to be a little bit harder than the summer. But we tend to do three events. Um, bars and beam every day. Bars and beam every day. And we switch out between floor and vault. Um, back and forth in two days. And we do a lot of conditioning and cardio exercise. So we got to get our endurance up. Okay, all right. February 9th, by the way, I mark that on your calendar, and it'll be that 4 o'clock in the afternoon. February the 9th, and I think that's a Saturday. I think it's a Saturday, okay. Just still on it, great. So I have to get a picture, and I'll have you sign one for me. Put it in my sports museum. I have a vast memorabilia museum, and I'll put you in it. How's that? Awesome. All right, thank you very much. Kayla Selecta from Shakopee. Next, uh, we'll go to you. Your name and where you're from and what you're in school. You got it? I got it. Hello? Oh. It's a uh -huh. Yeah, I just found it. Okay. <laughs> I'm Jenny Covers from Prairie Grove, Illinois, and I'm going to be a sophomore this year. Oh, from Prairie Grove, Illinois? Yep. And why did you decide on Minnesota? Was it Meg Stevenson or was it some other reason? It was everyone here. I mean, the program is so wonderful. The girls are so nice. They're so welcoming. There's everybody. That's, that's great. And you must be a good student like every one of them are, it seems like. Of course. What great students. <laughs> really, that's amazing. That's really... Uh, just recruits good students, that's all? Yep. I, w I couldn't have been a gymnast then. I was very poor. <laughs> very poor student. I just didn't study. I thought I could get by. In fact, I went to night school to learn to read in the dark. That'll tell you something. I just had a heck of a time. But uh, it was very challenging, you can be sure of that. Mm -hmm. uh, then what are you majoring in? I'm thinking about hearing and speech sciences. So... That's what I'm just looking at. Okay. You watched the Olympics, I'm sure? I did. D did you have a favorite? I always like to see everybody else. I enjoyed else. the whole team. Did you really? You did too. Okay. All right. Yep. What do you look forward to this year? Um, meet season again. That's always really fun, being with all these girls for so many hours. And it sometimes is crazy, but it's fun. <laughs> Mostly fun. You do have a tough schedule, though. I mean, you have to keep kind of a rigid schedule once you work out all the time. Yep. Got to stay on your stuff and... So you do it, I mean, nobody, there's nobody really pushing you. You kind of have to do it yourself. You have to be regimented. Yep. All right. Well, it pays off. It looks like it's paid off. That's great. Oh, yeah. That's great. I'm just amazed at some of the scholastic honors and so forth, and I think that's great. And what I like is the attendance thing. Uh, second in the Big Ten, that's pretty That's pretty good. It really is. It's outstanding. That's very, very good. Nice honor. So, you enjoy the teammates, enjoy the camaraderie, camaraderie that you have? Yeah, it's really nice. This team is so wonderful. I love every single one of these girls, so it's really fun to be with is, Tell me, does, Meg, Meg, does she always smile? Because I've never seen her without a smile. She always has a guess, smile. Yeah. Uh, she always looks very happy. That's yep. great. That's really good. I think that's really good. Well, we appreciate you stopping by. Well, and you'll you. be signing pictures inside also? Yep. Well, those are great. I hope to make sure you save one for me. All right, we'll do. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. A blonde. I know we did. We got a few blondes. <laughs> Holy cow. You heard about the blonde that called the airlines? And she said, how long does it take to fly to Los Angeles? The guy said, just a minute. She said, thank you. And she hung up. <laughs> All right. Your name is, you're in school. And where are you from? I'm Dusty Russell. I'm a junior and I'm from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And he competed at the NCAA Nationals too. I have it. Yeah. Earned 16th place in the all-around competition. Yeah. Dusty, that's great. Nice Thank job. You. Very, very nice. You. Wisconsin. You know, we hate Wisconsin normally, but yes. not you because you came over here well, from Wisconsin. Well, thank you. Okay. What made you decide to come here? Um, my oldest sister actually competed here as a gopher as well, and after I saw the experience she had, I always knew I wanted to come here. It was my dream since I saw her come, so that made the decision, and everyone being so wonderful here made it even easier. Do you have all the other sports in high school other than gymnastics? No, I've never done anything else besides gymnastics. <laughs> really? Is that, that's amazing. That is kind of, kind of unusual. 
Okay. And what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in family social science. Family social science? Yes. Okay. Were your workout schedule the same as the rest of them, basically? Yes, I also train all around and... Yeah. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> the all around pay, play, it, uh, paid off for you, 16. Very, that's really terrific. Thank you. That's really good. Thank you for stopping by and we'll uh, watch your progress this year. It should be fun. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Dusty Russell. That's very nice. <laughs> I like that. I like that name. It's a great public address. Dusty Russell. That's beautiful. Okay, next up. You are next. Hi, I'm Sierra Thompson. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and I will be a sophomore. I have a... My sister-in-law lives in Jacksonville. Really? She loves it. Yeah, it's a nice city. Yeah, it's a really nice city. <laughs> it's are, are you a Jaguar fan, too? Uh, yeah. Especially this year. They're going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the first game the Vikings have yeah. regular season as against Jacksonville. It's here, of course, but uh, yeah, Jacksonville's going to be pretty good. Yes. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and what are you majoring in? I'm undecided right now, so I'm all over the place. You're all over the place? I have a different idea every day. Okay. <laughs> all right. You could be like our good friend Marty. Yeah. He works part-time as a lifeguard in a car wash. Can you believe that? <laughs> We'd like to get you to because that would be kind of fun. <laughs> Tell us about the team in general. What's your outlook on the team overall? Uh, this year I think we're going to be awesome. Um, it was so cool being up here this summer with everybody and getting to know the freshmen. And I This is my first summer up here training, so um, it was a lot different. I got to work with my coaches more and um, just do a lot of conditioning too, so it was nice. You decided to come here? Why? From Jacksonville. What was the early um, I was looking in the Big Ten for schools, and I visited here, and I just fell in love with it, and it just worked out perfectly, so, I don't know, it was fun. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Have a, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I cut you with that clipboard? <laughs> All right. Thank you for being here. We have rest of luck this year, too. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Next. You're next. You go ahead, tell us who you are and where you're from, and you're, you're in school. I'm Janelle Campbell. I'm from Germantown, Wisconsin, and I am a senior. Another Wisconsin gal. Yep. Outstanding. So have you been to the state fair before, even though you live in Wisconsin originally? Yes, I've been here one other time. Okay. How does it compare to the Wisconsin state fair? Um, the Minnesota state fair is definitely a lot larger and a lot more food. Uh, the Wisconsin Safe. <laughs> okay, oh, that's great. Yeah, I like it agree with that. I think that's probably true. And what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in communication studies. Any kind of uh, particular thing, communication wise? Um, nothing particularly in communications. I mean, that sounds bad. Not, but sports, not sports or anything like that? No, but I want to do event planning for um, an organization with children. Like any type of organization like that, so that's what I'm mostly interested in. Event planning, well that's good. We have some great people in our promotions department that do that. Amanda's one. They do a great job and I know that uh, it's probably very rewarding also to be involved in something like that. Yeah. So, sir, what do you want to do? <laughs> Tell us. Um, Makes it. I am putting audition tapes together right now for Cirque du Soleil and I plan on auditioning for Cirque du Soleil. So May, so May of um, 2013. I had a friend of mine that was in the circus. He was shot from a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, oh, true story. Shot from a cannon. I asked him how he liked it. He said, great, great chance to travel, and he got loaded twice a day. So it was kind of fun. <laughs> and then when he left, they had to drop the act because they couldn't find another man of his caliber. <laughs> but that might be a little fast for you. I don't know. But uh, that's a heck of a challenge. That's really great. Yeah. What about this year? How do you feel about this year's overall squad? I think our team is superb in every way possible, and we are definitely going to be going to the 2013 Nationals. Yeah! Hey, how about that? 2013 Nationals. Yeah, that's a great attitude and a great goal. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank Best you for having us. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Yes, who's next? Okay. This is on. Yeah. Hi, my name is Kylie Sherman. I am a sophomore, and I am from Lakeville, Minnesota. Lakeville? Yeah. It's not far from Shakopee, where I'm from. No, right, right next door, pretty much. Yeah, there's a little bit of a rivalry there. Also, Lakeville, Shakopee, there has been over the years. Not as much as there used I to guess be. So. There used to be more. There's yeah. not as much now. Yeah, it's like different a lot, conferences, so. yeah. Yeah. What year are you in school? Did you say? Sophomore. Okay. And uh, what do you major in? Human resource management. Okay. Business. And why did you decide to come here, Minnesota? Um, well, I've pretty much been at the meet since I was a little girl, and I've known Meg and her husband Jim for a long time, so this is just where I wanted to be when I met all of these girls. Everyone is so special and has a lot to contribute to the team, so. 
I loved it when I visited. I imagine you know Rachel Bannon. Yes, I do. Fashion author. Yeah, she's doing very well. We had a chance to visit with her yesterday. Oh, good. So you, you're one of those people who put Lakeville on the map, and I yeah. think that's great. Yeah. It's really great. Thank you. What's your uh, feeling about the overall team this year? Well, I think, honestly, we get better each and every year, so I'm really excited to see how we end up in, in the Big Ten. I think we really can take the Big Ten championships, and like Janelle said, make it to nationals. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Being in Lakeville, I suppose there's a pretty good, easy choice to come here. Oh, yeah. With Bank. Yeah. I don't like to give Bank all this credit, but I, I think that a lot of, she has a lot to do with it. Yeah, she does. And Jim, too, for that matter. Both of them. That's great. Well, we appreciate you stopping by and hope you have a great year. Thank you. Thank you very, much. very much. Okay. And last but not least, yes. <laughs> your name and the school are where you're from and you're at school. I'm Shannon Golich. I'm a senior and I'm right from right outside of Chicago, Illinois. So. What part of Chicago? Where, where? Aurora, Illinois. Oh, Aurora, sure. Yep. I've been there a few times. Uh, not too bad an area. That's great. That's great. And what are you majoring in? Sport management. Sport management. Any yep. particular sport that you're looking at? Uh, not technically. I like them all, so they're all really fun to work with. And I'm that, going on my second internship with it, too, and I just love it. So. Something you always wanted to do even when you were really young? No, I had actually changed when I got here, and I learned more about it, and I heard more about it, and I was more interested, and looked forward to getting involved with it, and I pursued it. So. And you're especially, basically, what do you work on mostly? I do everything but bars, so vault, floor, and beam. Okay. So you watch the Olympics? Yes, of course I do. Impressive? All the United States especially? Oh, yeah. They were definitely impressive, and they did an awesome job, and they went out there and just did what they knew how to do, and they had fun doing it. Are you so. a big fan of Gabby's? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I support her. I support all the U.S. girls, so, yeah, definitely. Well, this one important. Of, and you have to be a good student, too, because of just what I talked about earlier. Everybody's a good student in this program. I'm really yeah. impressed. Very impressed with that. I think that's very good. Have you always been a good student? I try. <laughs> well, that's all you can do. That's absolutely right. Exactly. Well, I bet you're looking forward to this year. Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to this year. So. Okay, we're looking forward to watching you also. Okay, Thanks for yeah. being. Th thank you for being here. Yeah, not a problem. All right. It's my pleasure. All wonderful gals here at the State Fair from the women's gymnastics team. What time do we have, buddy? Are we doing? I have seven minutes. Meg, what? Uh, do, oh, are there any questions? I will uh, offer a chance for you to talk. If you'd like to any have any questions for the coach or the athletes, anybody have a question? Marty has a mic, he'll bring it out to you. Oh, you don't have one. Okay. Now you have one. Anybody have a question? Don't, don't be bashful. I had that one day, I asked what questions, one day he said, are you married? So I lied and said I wasn't. But it didn't do any good, I'll tell you, it didn't do any good. Anybody have a question? Maybe not. Did we do food items? Favorite food items? Yeah, I asked them, but... Oh, wait, we might have a... Little girl, do you have a question? When did we start? How old were you when you started? Uh, How old were you when you started in gymnastics? I actually started when I was seven, I think it was, or eight. I danced for a couple years before, and then I switched over to gymnastics, so... I started when I was three. My parents owned a gym, so. I also started when I was three years old. And I started when I was three. <laughs> I started when I was two. I started when I was three. I started when I was four. Any ones? <laughs> Anybody won? Yeah. And I was six years old when I started gymnastics. See, I would have been burned out by five. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't have done any of that, but I'll tell you. Should mention, if you want to look ahead, January the 5th, inter squad at 4 o'clock for gymnastics, and then Washington will be here on January 12th at 6 p.m. Washington will be here, their first home meet, I guess you'd call it, right? Am I right? Inter squad, by the way, is free. That's free on January the 5th at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then January 12th, Washington, and then of course we get to January 26th, Iowa State of Michigan will be here at 6 o'clock. So they're going to sign autographs inside. You're interested? They have some very nice cards put together by their classy gentleman that does a great job with the uh, marketing. Take a look. They'll be glad to sign for you. And uh, if you get a chance, I urge you to uh, go and watch gymnastics. It's your women's gymnastics. They really are terrific. Terrific ladies. Thank you very much for being here. And Meg, thank you very much. All. My pleasure. Meg Stevenson. How about a nice hand? Women's gymnastics.